Hello my soul fam. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Amalie Rivera and I'm here to show you how to level up with self-love. So I'm just going to get right into the topic of this video today. I want to be sharing with you all about my spiritual awakening journey. Um, basically just how it all happened to me, how I've become the person I am today, and what did it take for me to get to a level of self-love where I am now and that I feel abundant and willing to share my story with you because I think everyone's spiritual awakening story goes a little bit differently. Everyone has their own unique circumstances in their life and their own unique upbringing and it takes a certain, you know, I think it always, there's always this catalytic event or uh, momentum that propels you to just change your mindset and see the world in a different perspective. And I'm really excited to share that with you today because I know a lot of you have probably been through some of the things that I've been through in my life and I think it just helps to know that we're not alone in this journey and that we've all been through similar experiences and that we can all relate and that we can all help each other in any way to understand what this whole life thing is about. So I kind of want to preface my spiritual awakening with just a little bit about my childhood. Um, I remember being pretty sad as a, as a child. Um, being a very empathic child, I didn't know it at the time, but I was very sensitive um, and very empathic and very aware, even as a really little kid. And um, this made me understand things better and kind of want to know more about the world. So I was really interested in the world of health and medicine and animals and humans. And I was always just this timid observer of everyone. At the same time, I had parents who were just emotionally and sometimes physically and mentally like checked out, you could say. Like they weren't really present for me in the way that I would have I guess needed as a very sensitive empathic child. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that, you know. Not all of us have parents and families that make it conducive for us growing up as these sensitive beings. So I grew up with parents who were not only financially struggling but also emotionally and mentally kind of broken down over the time and poverty and mental illness kind of took over and I saw a lot of hardships and struggling and pain and suffering in my family that was really hard for me to deal with. So I think that's why most of my childhood I felt pretty sad and I didn't understand why. I just kind of wanted to help my family. I wanted to know why it is that things were going so difficult for us and I also just I think it made me really more empathic, as empathic as I already was, it made me even more empathic towards other people and, you know, as I grew up, this um, stayed with me, this kind of hurt and this pain stayed with me until I reached a certain point of, I'm over this victim mentality. So fast forward and I get into a college, I get into UCLA, which it was my dream at the time to go there and study psychology and I did it and I was really excited, but this kind of was one of the catalysts for me really opening my perspective and changing my worldview. Moving out of my ho home, which I had lived with my three sisters, my two parents, and my grandmother for my whole entire life. So obviously that's gonna be a shift in perspective, you know, being on my own and understanding other perspectives, other worldviews, other cultures. I went to Los Angeles and it was like, whoa, this is the real world. <laughs> and so being on my own gave me the space I needed to really explore who I was as a person, what my values were, um, especially when it came down to religion, because I had grown up Catholic and Christian or Lutheran my entire life. So this dramatically shifted as I began studying about Buddhism. I, I started learning about Hinduism, Buddhism, Krishna, um, pretty much all the other religions because I knew and I felt this yearning to understand the world better and to understand people better and to really discover what is all this about. 
And I think this is the underlying catalyst behind a spiritual awakening. Um, I don't know if you can relate to this, but it's like that feeling like there has to be something more. There has to be something more than just this life, like this grind, this, this daily, this is what I'm supposed to do, like this logical way of thinking of life and going through life and ending up at the end of it all kind of looking back and regretting and, and wishing you had fulfilled your dreams and fulfilling your life um, on a deeper level. And so I craved that like deeper spiritual understanding and I finally found it when I um, learned more about mind, body, spirit and the connection between all things and spirituality and this opened up my eyes and my third eye and I was just like blown away. So I was so excited to to take on life with this new perspective and I met other people who were also believing the same things and believing in energy and vibration and the law of attraction and all of this was like so overwhelming, overwhelmingly exciting but at the same time I felt so stuck because I was still in university I was still trying to just graduate but not really focused and detached from my family detached from other people who weren't really seeing things the way that I saw them and also realizing the discrepancy between the world that I felt inside and the beauty and the great gratitude for everything and the the shittiness of reality that was still there you know it was still there the world was still suffering there's still like contrast there's still negative experiences and things in my family were still not going well i was having difficulty in my romantic relationships in my personal life and my finances and so there you know i think we all go through this period where like we had that a moment of awakening and we start seeing things so much more vividly and vibrantly and everything's beautiful and then the contrast comes into play and it's like this weight on top of everything and you don't even know where to begin at that point was when i got really really sick this was the birth around my 22nd birthday or 23rd birthday um, in 2015 when I got super sick physically mentally and emotionally just exhausted from grinding um, at school working on working late every weekend I used to work as like this kind of model that got paid to kind of party with with richer individuals and it was a whole <laughs> crazy time and I was just exhausted completely drained emotionally and I got so sick physically from all of it I was smoking and drinking a lot at the time and it all just piled up on top of me and that was when I realized that I needed to build a foundation of self-love and I needed to do it that in that moment because I mean I was literally broken bankrupt um, didn't have money didn't have support and yeah, I think that's, we kind of all hit that rock bottom at some point and realize like, okay, it's one thing to know something. It's one thing to, to see and dream about a life that you always wanted. And it's another thing to actually do it and, and participate in that and, and build towards that reality actually manifesting in your life. And so four years ago, I started this self-love journey and learned everything I could on my own, just about holistic living, um, using natural products, um, treating my skin, my spirit, and my mind with, with like nourishment, you know, learning about meditation and actually practicing it on a daily basis. Not just yoga because it was cool and because that's what people in Santa Monica were doing at the time, which at first was kind of what attracted me to it, right? And I actually felt the difference in my spirit. I felt this weight had been lifted off my shoulders. I understood that it's not my job to fix everyone else and to, to please everyone else and to, to be there for everyone else. It's my job to just fully nourish myself. And once I started doing that, it's like I had more to give. And that's when it gets so exciting and it, it just makes you so grateful for life, for 
going through those hardships because you see how much that gives you strength in the long run and you you're determined to make your life better and also in turn that makes everyone else around you see that light emanating from you and benefit from that and that's ultimately what this is all about i mean spiritual awakening is an individual journey i think we all go through it in a different way but at the end of it all i mean there's no end or, or beginning it's kind of like an ongoing process but once you get to a certain point in that journey you realize that it's not mo it's not even about you anymore it's about the collective it's about raising this planet's consciousness and helping everyone else to get to a level of self-love and happiness that you know it's possible for them and so that is basically it that's what I went through in my spiritual awakening um, I'm still going through it I'm still learning things every day and it hasn't been easy at all and that's why I want to share this with you I want to keep expanding my knowledge and learn from you as well because every day is an opportunity to either align more with your true self and your authenticity or to misalign in every moment we have options we have the choice to be abundant to be free to be kind to be loving to ourselves first and then to the world it's not an easy journey and if you're going through the thick of it right now if you're in that beginning phase of of this clashing of energies, of feeling the weight on, of the world on your shoulders, of feeling so much pressure, of feeling like you want to escape and want to just relieve yourself of the immense emotion and, and feeling that you go through when you're first experiencing an awakening. My advice to you is that you're not alone and to please reach out to someone that you can speak to, that you confide in. If you don't have anyone, I'm here. Please just message me and I always get back to you as soon as possible because I know exactly what you're going through and I do wish that I had someone <laughs> during that time. I was in a relationship at the time and it was one of the hardest experiences of my life to be in a relationship that didn't fully nurture that experience that I was going through because it was really tough for me and I didn't have support really in my family. No one really, I felt like no one really understood what I was going through. And it wasn't until recently that I was able to find someone like my tribe that just resonated with me on the same exact wavelength about this journey. And it was such a relief to have someone to talk to. So I really recommend that. And I recommend just being with yourself and knowing that you have all the love inside of you even if there's no one right now in your life that you can count on just go within and um, and meditate if you can take some deep breaths and feel the divinity that's in you feel the love from god that's always within you and it will give you strength even in your most weakest moments so i really hope this message resonated with you and i hope you are having a wonderful week i will be back very soon shortly in my next video please let me know if you liked this give it a thumbs up and if you know anyone that's also going through a spiritual awakening share this with them um it gives me a lot of pleasure to be here and to just share this community and share this space where we all just accept each other and we all give each other support in the times that we need it so namaste and have a wonderful week.